So I'm gonna show you guys, we'll give you guys a little behind the scenes. I'm gonna look at some storage units right now and we're gonna see if um, I like any of them. Uh, what's up guys, happy Wednesday, February 3rd. It is uh, 11 p.m. That's right, p.m. <laughs> and I am uh, just recording the video. I was pretty busy today with Better Call Paul work and I had personal errands to run. Then I got here and just got to my mailman at time to give him my, my packages. I sold like five things yesterday on eBay, but I didn't have time to, to show what they were. Um, I did all that. Then I did a little cleanup in here. I got rid of, I got rid of all the trash. I did a couple of good little runs. Then I uh, did my posts for the day. Um, wasn't really much to share. Had a big number, a uh, big number for uh, eBay again, $879. A lot of it was Vita who did a decent amount of drafts for me. And then I uh, posted all of the watches that I found yesterday. Most of them were like 15 to $20, nothing too special. This one right here was actually pretty good. Uh, this is like, I don't know if you can tell, this is a Stour. Pretty cool looking Stour pocket watch. Uh, I sold sold comps for like 120, 130 for this. Mine is not running. So uh, I sold mine as is, so I didn't use a new battery. Listed it for 85. We'll see what happens. Um, posted that, posted a couple more stuff. I posted this guy right here. Try not to break him. This right here. I posted him. That guy is an example of why you guys need to check comps. And by check comps, not just check the last one, but check all of them. My first advice to anybody who's a reseller is to check comps. As somebody who used to work for me would always just check the first comp and not check every single one to see what the item actually sells for. That one right there, the, the, the latest two comps were 25 and $30. But then when you scroll down, you see 65. 70 plus shipping, 75, 80. So whoever those first two people who sold did not check comps and they way underpriced that item. List of mine for 85 plus best offer. If I get anything $60 and plus, I'm probably gonna accept it. But uh, yeah guys, check your comps because whoever listed that and sold theirs definitely did not get a max value for that. Uh, so I listed that and I listed this awesome plate set. Let me show you. You guys can see up there, I have this whole set of Le Cafe stuff. I got all those mugs. And I have, um, try not to break anything. I have five of these saucers that look like this. Five plates that look like that. And then five of these bowls that look like this too. Really cool, unique cooking set right here. I got that from a yard sale like a year ago. I never listed it. I listed this for like $150 or something. So let's see if that sells. So I listed all those. I had uh, just one local meetup today. I sold a, um, a rug. Yeah, that rug I got from the storage unit about a week and a half ago. It's the one I paid $10 for. That's the storage unit that had um, the like the fake granite looking top, a kitchen table with four chairs. It had uh, the rug, it had the king box springs, it had the two vacuums, that's it. So uh, I paid $10 for that unit. I sold the kitchen table and chairs for 150. I sold um, the box springs for 50 and I sold the rug for 25. So I'm already at $225 from a $10 investment. I still have the two vacuums left to sell. So that's a good, good easy flip there. Um, uh i was looking at some storage units today there's some decent ones going up for sale tomorrow at that extra space storage unit at crumlin again so we might be making another trip back there but we'll see in a minute so yeah i did that uh, and then i cleaned up over here and you guys can kind of tell it's uh pretty empty in the middle it's a lot of room for stuff to go i'm gonna show you guys we'll give you guys a little behind the scenes I'm gonna look at some storage units right now and we're gonna see if um, I like any of them. Okay, so I'm looking at the first one now. This is extra space storage in Kremlin. 
this is the one where I got the, the table from a couple weeks ago. Every time where some units go up in this extra space, I really try to get them because I'm really, I really like this uh, storage space. They do a good job of maintaining it. The elevators always work. The cart's always there. It's easy to load and unload. So there's two of them uh, ending tomorrow in nine hours. So that it's uh, we're 11 p.m. now, so 8 a.m., right? Or 9 a.m., 9.41. Yeah, so 9 a.m., they're gonna close. This one and this one's 10.41 because this one's gonna close at, at 10 a.m. then. This one's 9 a.m., that one's 10 a.m., okay. Uh, good, because this is the one I want more. So I'm gonna see if I can win this one first. And if I can't win this one, I'm gonna try to win this one. This one is surprisingly is higher, but I think this is a worse unit than this one. This one is 15 by 15. See the clean deposit is $100. Uh, right now the hybrid is 50 bucks only. 15 by 15 by the way is huge. It's what, 300 square feet, right? Yeah. So we got a lot of totes in the front. I love totes. I'll try to zoom in, see if I can read anything. Say bathroom stuff what does that say something close i see a, a vera wang shoe box here simply Vera wang uh, but i do love all these totes i love totes and look at how many totes there are it's like stuffed it's totes up there i oh, love totes <laughs> and we got some good boxes over here this is very tempting <laughs> i don't know why you take the same picture twice Another you know, box up here, a little storage cabinet here. This looks like a very old, maybe snow blower. Could have been good to have a couple days ago. It looks pretty beat up though. I don't know if there's gonna be much value in that thing, to be honest. We got a, we got like a little table. I'm missing the top. Crock pot is trash. Any better pictures? Okay, there we go. Um, We'll steam up. More boxes, priority mailboxes. Uh, another table, some chairs over there. Bags of clothes maybe, or bags of something. The guys did not do the best job here taking pictures. It's the same picture like 70 times in a row. Um, is that it? That's all of them, wow. Okay. Um, so you can't really tell what's in the totes, unfortunately. Can't tell at all. But this thing is stuffed. So I, I'll, I'm gonna try to win this one for sure. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Maybe that's why people are staying away because it's, it's a lot of stuff to deal with. Maybe they don't want to deal with it. But if it's really 15 by 15, it should be bigger. This this does not look like 15 feet. This looks like maybe 10. So um, 15 by 15 though, interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to win this one. Let me just put 150 right now and see where that puts me. Okay, so I'm winning at 80. I have just the highest bid. I so I'll wake up tomorrow and see what I can do. Um, this one I'll just I'll just watch for now, and we'll, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, this one I'm just gonna just add to my watch list and see because uh, I don't see anything that good here. Like, whoever put this together, I don't know why they threw that up top. That could have easily fit right here. I don't know why they had to put the grill up top. But we see a guy got a grill, looks like there's two air conditioners. There's one there, one there, abacus, got some dirty clothes, more clothes. It's like a modem or something, right? Xfinity modem, probably the Xfinity on it. Some lamp. The grill. Looks like it's in decent shape, actually. That could sell in the summer. By the way, air conditioners, guys. I, uh, last year, I sold all of my ACs. I had like, oh, I think 10 plus. I sold them in two days. <laughs> sold them for like 60 bucks each. Uh, I had like $600 in air conditioners like in two days because they all sold so quick. So I, I'm, I'm storing mine now waiting. Look at the very disgusting that is. This 
is why I can't this is a good, you know, look, look, bags are open. There's just, it's like there's grease everywhere. They just threw a bunch of these pants. Yeah, I don't, I don't want this one. The grill's nice and all, but I, I don't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna unwatch it. <laughs> all right, so we got those two. Let's see what's happening on Locker Fox. 10 hours, 10 hours, 10 hours, four days, okay. So these three close tomorrow. Let's see what we got here. Got one in Newcastle, two in Upper Chichester. That's Aston. Let's see what this one's all about. Um, nothing much here. That's it. <laughs> Some terrible pictures again. What is this one at right now? $50? $50. You guys see what I mean? <laughs> somebody bid $50 for this right here. That's all they see is somebody bid 50 bucks on that. No, thank you. What is this one at? This one is at 60. Okay, what we got here? Uh, looks like some split box from the bed. Okay, there we go. How big is this thing? Five by 10, so it's a very small one. So it's just a bag of trash at the bottom. Like pillows, some furniture, but furniture was me. Yeah, I'm not getting this one either. Not for me. And then what's this one? This one's a 90. Dolly, like dollies. What we got here? The reason I don't really like locker fucks too much is I can't zoom in on the pictures. So you have to like just like kind of tell from what you see. There's a bunch of bags there. They covered uh, the mattress. That's good. They cared about their stuff a little bit. It looks like it's there. It could be a fridge back there. Some boxes. Fold out table. It's an easy $30 bill. Easy 30 bucks right there. A lot of boxes. Upper Chichester. This one's what? 10 by 10? This one's also a 5 by 10? This one's way bigger than it's a 5 by 10. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely put this one on my watch list and see what happens here. Um, what what is it? Ten forty one. So this is gonna be a little after ten a.m. tomorrow. So that means this one's gonna close first. So if I don't win this one, I'm gonna be fighting for this one right here. All right, let me close these out. Keep keep these two open. Uh, so yep. You guys saw kind of i want to give you guys that kind of like behind the scenes once in the blue moon uh, of the storage unit so you guys kind of see what i'm looking at and see what i see when i bid and um so hopefully i win that uh crumbling one in the morning the one that ends at 9 a.m uh and if i win that one we will do a live stream opening again this week, probably of that unit. I talked to Masha about it and we decided the best day for us is gonna be Saturday night to do the unboxings. And so I'm free, that's when she's free. So um, today is Wednesday, the third, so Saturday would be the sixth. So yeah, if I win that, that's gonna be the next um, uh, unboxing. So stay tuned for that. And you wood around. Yeah. Let's hope I win, right? <laughs> so, uh, yep, uh, that's gonna be it for me for today. Just give you a little quick little video. I don't think this is gonna be in video in itself. I'll probably combine it with what I do tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But for you, it's gonna be in a couple of moments. Well, what's up guys? It's the next day. Wow, magic of camera and YouTube. Yes, it's now Thursday, February 4th. It is 11 in the morning. I am here at the warehouse. I think I want to call it something else. The warehouse just sounds boring. Uh, maybe like the Flipper headquarters. That sounds cooler, right? I think we're doing some cool stuff over here. Uh, but yeah, I'm back here, 11 a.m. Um, I went to my favorite diner. I got some awesome, awesome food. Got some steak and eggs this morning. You know, treating myself today. Some nice steak and eggs. Watched uh, the morning show with Johnny and Trent and Trent's haunted microphone. Uh, great time. 
as always, while watching that, I was bidding on units. The one I wanted yesterday, the, the big one I wanted yesterday, uh, went outside my budget. Um, I woke up at 7 to see if I was winning, and I was not. So I upbid. Uh, my bid was at 150. Somebody upbid me to 180. So I made a new Poxy bid at 300 and see if that would work. And the auction ended at 9 a.m. And until 8.52 a.m., I was winning at 2.10. So I was like, oh, I can get this. But then at 8.52, these two other guys came on and just started having a bidding war. I was caught in between of. And um, I was willing to go up to 400. That's, that, that's what I bid it up to for. And the unit sold for like $560, which is insane. <laughs> Not something I want to spend that much money on. Um, good luck to ever buys it. That's way outside my price range. So what I did was the other unit that I wanted on the, the other website, I won that one. I won that one for 170. And then the unit that I said was trash yesterday, <laughs> the other one in Crumlin, the one with the air conditioners and, and, the, and the barbecue grill, I ended up winning that one. Uh, I looked back at it and I was like, I can sell the ACs for 60 to 75 bucks each. That's 120 to 150. I can sell the grill pie for 100 during the summer. That's 250. And I was like, okay, if I can get it for less than for, if I can get it for half of 250, I'm cool. So I got it for 120. So I can get my money back just in the air conditioners. I'm gonna be in a profit just with the grill. So I figured everything else is gonna be gravy on top. So I won it for 120. So I uh, got that one for 120, got that one for 170. So I'm in it at 290 total. So instead of getting the one that I wanted for like 500, I got two other ones for 290, which I am pretty happy with. They're both relatively close. That the Chroman one is about 10 minutes away. The one upper Chichester is about 15 minutes away. Well, uh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna go with V or one of my other guys and we're gonna clean it up, bring it in here and have it saved. And I'm gonna go through both of them on Saturday. Um, I feel like there's gonna be enough stuff in both of them to do a live video. So Saturday guys, here's gonna be my new, hopefully live schedule. I wanna do the live Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. That's when we're gonna be doing 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we're gonna try to do one every single Saturday. So we'll see. Um, that way it's gonna keep me motivated to throughout the week to clear all that stuff out, to post all that stuff. And then so I can have a live video for you guys every Saturday. So be on the lookout uh, for that. But that's Saturday, today is Thursday. Uh, I'm grabbing the units on Friday. So we don't have to worry about that today. Today we have to worry about packing what's sold. Uh, today we have to worry about listing some things locally and getting my eBay listings done. I feel like I sound like a broken record by now, but I still have lots of good stuff to post. Like you see, I barely got to Angie's bins. I'm going through one of them right now. I have a ton of cool, awesome inventory. I'm very excited about, very excited about getting it on eBay. So I want another big number today you guys see on saturday we were 1368 sunday 275 monday 706 tuesday 1015 yesterday was wednesday we were 879 today is me thursday february 4th i won at least 700 today as well yeah 700 shouldn't be too difficult i have i think i have some big ticket items here like i'm gonna probably post the barbies today in their condition uh the boxes are kind of beat up as you can tell there's a little damage in the boxes but the dolls inside are brand new there's like damage in the box so i'm gonna look into all of these most likely sell them as a set i think i get the most money for them if i sell all five together um so we got their names on these I'm pretty sure it's a scary spice yep melanie brown scary spice hi i knew it all right, let me see the other ones. I think they just one called a Posh, right? One of them called Posh. <laughs> I heard nothing with the Spice Girls. Who are you? Hi, guys. Quick game. Who is this? Uh, her name is Sporty Spice. Her name is Melanie Chisholm. Never heard of her. But she probably 
has infinite amount of money. So good for you, Melanie. So we got that one. Then we got this one. You guys know who this is? Answer is Emma Bunton, Baby Spice. I've heard of Baby Spice. So that's her. Congrats to you, Emma. Hopefully you can make me some money. And we got two more. Over here. Who is this, guys? That's not Victoria Beckham, right? Which one's Victoria Beckham? Her name is Ginger Spice. Jerry, Gary, Halliwell. This must be Victoria Beckham then. Oh no, I got two gingers. Oh no. I don't have a full set. I just realized that. Wait. Well, that sucks. That's unfortunate. I thought I had a full set because I, I counted five. So I don't have Victoria. There was the, the brunette with short hair. There's no more in here. Ah, I thought I had some money. Now I have to sell them individually. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Oh, man. You figure there's five dolls. There's five Spice Girls. It's the whole set. Nope, I have two of the same. Whoops. Well, okay. I guess I'll have to um, see what we can do. I don't have a full set. I got four and one twice. Eh, what can you do? So I'm gonna list those today. It's a good thing I, I caught that before listening. It. So I'm gonna list those. All right. So yeah, let me um, get to work. Okay, so it's like 1 p.m. So it's time to uh, pull uh, orders. I was sold yesterday on eBay and Poshmark. I had no Mercari sales, surprisingly. But then I got a notification at the end of the day. I said that Mercari was down for most of the day. Maybe that's why. I don't know. But um, no Mercari sales. I had six on eBay. I had two on Poshmark. Let me talk about the Poshmark ones first. First one. I already talked to you guys about this before. Old Navy. Especially men's Old Navy. Sells really well. These are Old Navy men's cargo pants. They sold for full asking price on Poshmark. Which was $23. And then I think Poshmark charged me like $8 shipping or something. So somebody paid $31 <laughs> for uh, Old Navy cargo pants. Old Navy continues to uh, surprise me and blow my mind. Also on Poshmark, I sold a set of two of these um, dish towels. They came from that uh, original pillowcase buy that I made last April. I had them listed for $40. Somebody shot me an offer of $25. And I was like, they've been up for so long. I'm okay with $25. So that sold on Poshmark. On eBay, I had one clothes item right here. Nothing too serious. It's a Noble, like women's athletic shirt. Um, the brand's Noble. It's a decent brand. It's extra small though. So that hurt its value quite a bit. It took a while to sell, but I got 10 bucks for that shirt. Another small little sale. I probably wouldn't list this again. Um, so this. Rubbermaid dog reusable ice pack. This came out of a storage unit over a year ago. It finally sold. I only got 10 bucks for it. So if I see more of these in storage units. Again, the, the cycle continues. Every time I record, I get phone calls. I've been working here for like two hours. Not one phone call. I start recording and my phone starts blowing up. <laughs> so I, this sold, but I probably wouldn't list it again if I find it in another storage unit stuff that i would list again <laughs> is this right here i sold this and the other part of this is this this is another thomas the train um little piece this came out of that storage unit same storage unit with the rest of the thomas the train stuff that's the biggest one i sold so far that sold for 50 dollars that that piece and this piece <laughs> together so for 50 dollars man thomas the train stuff awesome awesome little bolo this guy this should be already aware of but uh ink sells all the time printer ink sells this is a canon 240 black ink thing got it a yard sale for like 50 cents a quarter 50 cents less than a dollar for sure and it took 
three months to sell, but it sold for $20. So pretty happy with that. Another small sale here is this Timbaland and Magoo uh, CD. This came out of the baking unit. Remember on Mon on Sunday or Monday, I sold a set of six CDs from that baking unit. This was good enough to sell by itself. And this sold for $8. And then last, I sold another one of these um, headband, what do I call this thing? Headband jeweler magnifying glass with LED light. This uh, came out of uh, the Amazon pallets. As you can see here, I still have a ton of them in here. It's my third one that I sold. Third or fourth one. They've been slowly um, moving, so I can't be really complaining too much. And this sold for $13. Okay, that's all the sales. Let me pack them out and get them out the door. Okay, so while packing those, I actually had another sale come through. A woman's J. Crew tank top kind of thing. This size large. What size are you, J. Crew? Large. This thing right here. Uh, this thing sold, uh, somebody sent me an offer this morning for it and I accepted and they just paid. So this thing sold for 20 bucks, also came out of the storage unit. I love anytime clothes sells for $20 or more because I pretty much get it for pennies. So 20 bucks from a penny is pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna pack that up and get out the door as well. Okay, so it's um, like 11 p.m. I'm about to get out of here. Another productive day today. Another big number for listings. Let's see, Vita was doing a lot of drafts today, so that helped. We had like almost 50 listings today for $914. So that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> pretty good. $940 is really good uh, for listings. Um, see, I listed the Barbies listed all them i listed um the christmas lights these lights over here all those lights over there all these c9 lights got them all listed i listed the other lights which i forgot where i put right here and this bag this is all the bobble lights all of those lights got them all tested and listed that's pretty cool. Um, this is a lot of small stuff. Like I found another uh, decanter bottle. This one has George Washington on it. Listed that. This is some um, VHS tapes. This is some books. So another big number. Tomorrow is Friday. It's the last day of the goal week. I expect another big number tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a better call Paul job in the morning. And then me and V are going to go and clean out uh, the storage units. So I'm going to be pretty busy doing other stuff in the beginning of the day then i'll list towards uh, the end so yeah that's gonna be it for me um, i gotta get out of here i'm very tired have a big day tomorrow i'm ready to kill it hope you guys are ready to kill your days as well i uh, will see you guys in the next video peace out guys